Well, what's up guys, it's Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. First of all, as always, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. So, uh, I'll show you my team quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Like, by now, a lot of people know my team and that. But this is the team that I'm using. The only change is George Best. Um, I've got Milinkovic Savic on the bench. I'll speak about that when I open the packs, but my god, I lost some brain cells doing him. But uh, I start on 5 back to get the most people on Ken. In game, I do switch to 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. I use balance, 5 width, 4 depth, fast build up play, 4 width, 5 players in box, and then 2 corners and 2 free kicks. And it lines up with best in cam, David Luiz, CDM, like that. Um, get them behind and stay forward on the strikers. Stay forward on the cam and get into box for crosses. Stay back while attacking and cover wing for the CDM. And then stay back while attacking on the fullbacks. If you have, of course, got any other questions on the team or anything or custom tactics, then be sure to let me know in the comments section. Um, but yeah, I did claim the rewards yesterday just so I could claim the foot champs um, qualification. But I did finish uh, rank 3 in Division 1 and then gold 3 in foot champs. Actually finished on 14 and 0, but I just didn't want to play anymore, to be honest. But. The player picks, as I've said the last few weeks, and 86 isn't bad. The player picks are and aren't really EA's fault. I mean, it's not their fault if the team of the week's bad. However, it is their fault that they don't do more with the player picks. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. I did just pick him, didn't I? Great. Um, I mean, see, if I wasn't doing it for a video, I actually probably would pick him and then quickly put the other one into an SBC. But... Just for the video, I've not got time for that. So technically, we did get two 86s, but like they're not usable, and one was a duplicate. But yeah, as I say, like they could boost players up more. They could put more players into um the special team of the weeks and that. That is why I've uploaded the video on Friday instead. Um, I usually upload them Thursday as soon as they come out. However, I did have work all day Thursday, so couldn't get the video out. And then by the time I finished, it would have been too late for people to um, realistically watch. So I thought, you know what, I'll wait until Friday, 6pm. Hopefully something gets released. Unfortunately, it didn't. I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, there have been no icons released, so I'm not sure if you've seen them or not. But I'm not sure who got released. Laudrup, Cruyff, Moore and um, Hernandez, I'd say. There might be another one, I'm not sure. But on first glance, Cruyff looks expensive. Bobby Moore for me isn't really usable, neither is um, Loudrup. Loudrup as a cam has got like 82 finishing, so I personally wouldn't use him. But yeah, that Cruyff looks expensive, like 386 uh, squads, 287s, 288. Again, only one icon. People like myself stored up on icons to hopefully, um, cover how it's not bad as an 85. To hopefully use them for SBCs like last year where you needed two and three, but instead they've just used high rated squads instead of uh, icons to sort of shaft people because a lot of people like myself did store up. But yeah, um, that Hernandez, however, does look like good value. He's got really well rounded stats, he's got really good jumping uh, to suit the meta. I don't cross myself, but I know a lot of people do, so playing him uh, left round or right round will be really good. Finishing superb. The only problem with that Hernandez is a freestyle weak foot. But if you play him out wide, that shouldn't make much of a difference. So on first glance, I actually would recommend that Hernandez. But yeah, couldn't tell you about Cruyff. Looks very expensive, but it is a 95 Cruyff. So can we really complain? Um, also, the E Premier League game, I have messaged somebody. He said that he's spoken to the Premier League and it should be fine for me to upload the um, live game from... The e Premier League that I played, I will only be able to upload one, I think, because I can't get footage from the ones that weren't on stream. However, the game that I played on stream, I will be uploading to my uh, to YouTube within the next week or so. So look out for that if you haven't already. Um, I'm not really sure what else to talk about at the minute. Oh, that Milinkovic Savic completed him last night. My God, it took hours. Like. Division Rivals, I was at 2,700 skill rating at the time, which is pretty high, and I went down to below 2,500 at one point. I lost over 200 skill rating just trying to get Milinkovic Savage, um, which I don't understand them requirements. Like, 
rivals nobody likes to play anyway. If you are going to do rivals, I was listening to, um, I don't know why I swapped that guy. I was listening to uh, the Penfed video a couple of days ago, and he was spot on with what he said. Like, why do you have to win games to get them? Like, where is the play-to-pay aspects of, like, getting stuff that you've worked for rather than winning? Like, I win quite a lot of games myself. Like, that uh, Freddy Growing card, I completed him without losing a game. So that was good for me. But if they are going to do win games, I don't understand why they don't do play games as well. Like, do, do rivals, say either you can win six rivals games or you play ten rivals games. Like, I don't see the problem with that. If you're playing the game, you should still get rewarded for it. You shouldn't have to sit there and play so many games in such a hard game mode to win. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I am... All, um, obviously, I usually get quite good finishes. So I am one that thinks the better you do, the more you get. Like, if you finish higher up, I do think you deserve better rewards. But when it comes to weekly objectives and stuff like that, then I do think you should get rewarded for just playing the game. Um, also, I'm intrigued to know what game mode you guys are playing nowadays. Because I put a tweet out the other day about Ultimate Team moaning about something, as always. And um, somebody said to me, there was like, Pro Clubs is the way forward now. I actually, I disagree with that, unfortunately. Um, if you didn't know, I actually play clubs a lot. All the way from like FIFA 10 up to the start of FIFA 17. Clubs was always my main go-to game, but like... Clubs is awful now as well. The mechanics in clubs right now are so broken. So that needs to be fixed. But yeah, I'm interested to know what game mode or game you're playing. Like, if you're playing Ultimate Team, do you play Champs? Do you play Squad Battles? Do you play Rivals? Like, is any of it worth it with the rewards that you actually get? I mean, I've opened quite a lot of packs here so far. I think I've opened nine packs and I haven't got a single walkout yet. And they were all pretty decent packs. Uh, so yeah, do you play career mode, pro clubs? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm actually intrigued as to what game mode people do play on this game. Because for me, no game mode, honestly, is fun to play. So I'm up to some ideas. Co-op as well. I don't mind playing co-op, but realistically there's nothing to play for. And if you get to like 30 odd games on beating in co-op, 9 times out of 10 you get given a DC. So yeah, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll kind of work out how many people play what game mode and i'll be intrigued by it so we've opened 10 packs here we had like four mega packs three 50k packs a 55k pack and i got 185 like this is why a lot of people don't play champs anymore or rivals for that as well the rewards just aren't worth it at the minute the rewards altogether this year have been pretty poor which is why i hardly ever finish my games anymore it's not even worth playing to a high level for uh from my point of view but yeah, really appreciate everybody being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.